Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video number 37, I am going to explain you how you can install MySQL in your next JS 14 or latest project or application. In same video, we are going to make a connection with MySQL. And for that, I'm going to create a separate JavaScript file that will be used to execute all the CURD operation with MySQL. And for implementing this MySQL CURD operations, I will use five videos. And in these five videos, I will use server action. Server action is a latest way to handle database operations in Next.js 14 and above. It is the latest concept just like we use PHP or other server side scripting languages to make a connection. We are going to do the same. Remember that in Next.js earlier we were using REST API for CURD operation. So I am not using CURD operation with REST API because there are so many videos available on YouTube for that. That is the old concepts. I am going to implement the server action concepts in a very very simple and a clean way so that you can understand how to perform CURD operation with MySQL using server action. In my later video I will also use MongoDB and Firebase for server action. So let us start in this video how to install MySQL, how to make a connection with MySQL, how to make a JavaScript file, custom JavaScript library to execute all these operations. So for that I have my project. In this project I am going to create a route here. Uh, that route I give the name. I say curd mysql. Then I create page here. Page.js file for routes. Then I say rafce and here just I print mysql with server action in next.js like this. Now I want to link this URL or route in my navigation for that just I make a copy of this and I paste it here and here I say curd mysql same URL I pass here curd mysql and I save this and you see that this link is coming if I click here then I have mysql with server action in next.js so this is the route here I will use all the operations with mysql now I have to execute or run MySQL at the background. For that I am using exam server. From exam server I am starting this MySQL and it is running on 3306 port. Remember that. Now I need to create a separate library also for connection. But before that I have to install MySQL. So I say npm i MySQL2. Remember that MySQL2 that I have to install. We have MySQL 1 also, MySQL simple, MySQL 2 and MySQL 3 also but we are going to use MySQL 2 that is reliable. Again I am running my application after installation. You can verify the installation by package.json file and you can see that we have installed MySQL 2 6.3.6.3 version. Now MySQL is ready, we have to use it. For using this I am creating a separate library file here. I say my sqldb.js it's a custom library that I am going to use then I say rafce and remember that uh, this uh, file I will use on server side I'm not using this I'm not using react here and then uh, here I import mysql from mysql from here I say mysql to promise that I am going to from mysql mysql2 promise that i'm going to use it and here what i do here i say uh, that is uh, mysql library and here i'm going to create the function name uh, that function name is called execute query remember that i'm going to change the name of this execute query because that i'm going to use outer in my projects so this is execute query. In execute query, I use try like this. And thus this try, I'm going to use return and everything. So here I say uh, 
const db equal to mysql dot create connection and under this function i need to pass object in which i give host name uh, that is uh, 127.0.0.1 that is the local host then i give port port is 3306 then i give database name database name is student mca you, you can give any name then i say uh, user and username is root then i say password password is blank so i am not providing any password here i save this so host we have port we have database we have everything we have now after that if db is connected we do not have any error uh, then i say const result equal to db dot execute execute function and in this uh, function i say async await remember because then it will become server side server side component and then i give here await here i pass two parameter query and uh, data so that query and data i pass here query and data that is required after performing this i say db dot end because i have to close this connection also and here i i also say await and here i can also say await if it is required otherwise we can ignore it also then i say console dot log just to verify that what is the output in this result we can check it then we can return also the same result remember that we are going to return if uh, there is a error we say catch and we have an error also suppose we have error then i say return a new error and here i pass so i can return error also if there is an error we can check it is error or not and we can display console also uh, for this so what is the error we can check so this is the library that we created for mysql connectivity and if connection would be there then it will show the result otherwise it will generate error now we go to this page this is my latest page one and uh, here i can uh, test this also but in next video i will create a separate page for display data but here i can test this it is working or not that we have to check so for that i say const i say result equal to i say execute query from this library and here i am passing a operation i say select star from a student because the student table is there and i am passing this data as a array blank why blank because i am not passing any parameter in this query because i am just testing and now i display this information in json format stringify and i say result if there is a data in this table then we can display here and for that we can verify that it is executing or not so go this here i refresh it you see that i am getting a data in log file and maybe we have data here we getting a blank why because i have to convert this also as a server's component so here server side rendering for that i have to put await also here save this now you will see the output here also you see the information is also coming from the mysql it is just a testing so i test this library is working which i created for establishing a connection with the mysql and uh, if i uh, close it suppose i stop the server server is not running now what is the output you can see that also you see we have a blank data but is not generating an error so i think we have a then if there is an error we have to return error also i have to remove and from here maybe it is generating some problem run it nothing we are getting here we having a connection connector reconnect you see error is coming in log file you see error is coming in log file here it displaying but it not returning this why it is not returning i can return without a new try to check this save this run once again you see now it is working it was wrong to send it as a error object so i am getting i am sending with as a information that error is coming and i am sending this error and now you see that we have an error that we have a connection problem refuse connection 
and we have error 4078 so by this me this error code we can verify that this uh, mysql is not running right now so you have to run it as i run it and then if i refresh it so you will have the data you see connection is established so that means this library is working properly and we will use this library for curd operation that we are going to perform in next videos so in this video we learn how to install mysql how to create a library to execute all the mysql operation at server side so we have created this and we have tested this here also that this library is executing perfectly now in next video we are going to display the record in a tabular form in html table for that i will create a new component and then i will display those information by using server side rendering so if you have any query you can comment on this video if you like it please do subscribe thank you for watching this video see you in next video also Thank you.